Hello everybody, this is Tzilla with a toy review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the animated King Ghidorah from Godzilla the Planet Eater. Now let's quickly look at the tag. Here's his tag. Has a picture of King Ghidorah. The 1962 Godzilla. 2018 because that's when it was released. Gidra and the, his name in Japanese. All these information in Japanese. There he is. Says Godzilla. So yeah, let's look at the figure. Detail is really nice on him. I love the paint job. He's an amazing banana. <laughs> you can see the wings are detailed. You can see all these sculpting. This is translucent plastic. Here's his little leg you know when I saw King Ghidorah I didn't really think he was gonna have leg I thought he was gonna be a flying monster with no leg but when I see him in person he actually does have legs I can see his feet right here his tail you see some spikes right here like the pointy spikes now moving on to articulation he's got three the necks rotate but this neck is the middle neck is in the way so it can't rotate all the way but he's made out of saw vinyl so you can just force it and the metal neck rotates so that's three points of articulation nothing on the wings you can just do this put it right here a quick one reason I have this for him because he's always on the ground so that's why I gotta keep him up like that so anyways now on to sizing let's size him up with the opponent that he fought in the movie Godzilla now here's the one thing that's very interesting King Ghidorah was actually gigantic. So if you could see the picture, he was actually grabbing onto Godzilla and electrocuting him. And they were coiling around him. And Ghidorah was actually a lot bigger than him. So yeah, sizing's not really good here. For fun, here he is with the 2019 King Ghidorah. Just sizing him up for fun. But still, I think the animated Ghidorah would be around this big. And so that just about does it for this review. Um, detail is all right. Articulation is alright. Sizing, hmm, probably not so well. So anyways, you know, I'm just probably going to give him a 10 out of 10 because he's awesome. And to me, when I look at him, he actually looks a lot like a banana.
If anything, this is probably the reason. He kind of does look exactly like a banana. Especially the hat. So yeah, anyways. He's a great figure. Well, that just about does it. I hope you enjoy this review.